Our group is, is a collective energy of the SSAMI. It is our pleasure and passion and joy and excitement to be able to be a part of this channel panel. It's not ordinary that Sasani beings are contacted in such a manner. We find it to be rather ecstatic and we find it to also be symbolic of the unity consciousness constructs that are now being birthed on your new version of Earth. So understand that when you are having these types of interactions, you are engaging yourselves in such a way that is not only representative of our version of society, but you are also orienting yourselves into that embodiment of utopian Earth-based frequencies. And that is completely unique to your planet. And you're using our frequencies as an example of this, but really you are embodying the true signature frequency vibration of your own planet. This, what you're experiencing right now, is just one version of what you would understand as Earth-based unity consciousness, a new form of consciousness in the sense that you're now bringing it into your awareness. But understand, it is a linkage point that has existed timelessly throughout Earth's history since its creation. And right now, what you're doing is bringing that from the subconscious into your conscious realities. So... We have heard you. We've been here. Yes. We know what's going on. You are each a small planet to yourselves, or as is, has been said, a, a universe unto yourself. So each human being is a absolutely fascinating subject for us to interact with. We were saying that you, right now you are bringing in unity consciousness where you are experiencing in a very obvious direct way how connected each of you are. The idea of sharing synchronicities, sharing dreams, sharing passions, being able to have telepathic experiences with one another. This is an example of you bringing the force of unity consciousness, which is always present, to the forefront of your awareness. And what we were saying is when you are doing these sort of things, like a channel panel, where you're bringing in our society, which exists as unity consciousness, you're strengthening that level within yourself. You're strengthening your own awareness of your own unity consciousness by interacting this unique way of compiling members of our societies and our collectives through this dynamic. Um, it is a purging. So at the moment, the collective is spilling out into all, and all are creating the collective. And as this gets more and more cleaned out, then the collective starts to truly experience unity consciousness, not only what that means on the intellectual level, but what that means on a experiential, spiritual, emotional, physical, oneness level. It is difficult for some people in those moments to use the tools they know that they have because they feel like they are overwhelmed. And that is the moment to reach out and to ask for support. Your experience of Earth's changes is a reflection of you. So when you experience in your reality weather patterns, your human resonance fluctuating, solar flares, and that's just the surface of the types of energetic alterations happening on your world, understand you're not actually being affected by it in an objective way. You are creating the effect that these frequencies are reflecting. So understand, whenever you're hit with what you call a cosmic wave or an upgrade, these are frequencies that are geared to orient you in a particular direction. That initial relationship and its dynamic is initiated by your collective energy. Furthermore, how it affects you personally is dictated by your response to it. So you have ultimate creative freedom, no matter what force is actually affecting your world. 
Well, we would suggest at this time, there is no really need to know. I see the question here is, um, we won't say going too deep. We would suggest that you keep the focus mainly on your own project and your own ascension at the moment, raising your own vibration, which you are doing quite nicely, Tyler. We can actually, as a son, we can, you would say, direct or route our consciousness through our future selves to be our future selves right now. It's all accessible to us at the moment. So we are all our past and future selves at once. Yes, and let me tell you, you are doing this as well. All of you. You are us now. Yes, yes, we would be all, um, we would all be, say, on the same page as regards to raising our energy. There is some of us at different stages, at different levels, because we continue to evolve. But in general, yes, we would be all coming in more on the same energy. We are all coming basically from the heart energy, which is, again, you are aware, um, which is that, um, as Chris would call it, unconditional love. Yes, well, we are uh, we are ascending also, and um, so I mean, you our things are going through the process as we speak, but we also um, continue to grow on many levels, um, and and um, yes, uh, we used our energy to allow us to continue to um, to grow on many levels um, as regards to our um, uh, ascension. Mm -hmm. We are here only to give you the power to find your own power, give you the power to gear up your own engine, so to speak, no matter what form that might take. What time are you talking about? Are you aware everything is right now? Yes. 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 Mm. Any more questions? Thank <laughs> you.